Fishing on movies. It's too much. Hey, welcome to season two of Dishing on movies. movies. That's right. We thought to celebrate the new location, exactly. the new season, we would have a little cocktail concoction. Exactly. Based on warm bodies. That movie, so good. Oh my gosh, I loved it. If you guys haven't seen it, see it now. <laughs> so what we thought we'd do, you know, warm bodies means you're gonna get hot. Mm -hmm. So we thought Bloody Mary mix. So we're gonna show you three ways to heat up your Bloody Marys. Hot pepper sauce, pepper, celery salt, chili powder, a pitcher of ice, lemon juice, salt, tomato juice, pepper infused vodka, horseradish, Worcestershire, vodka, and celery. So we're doing some Bloody Mary mix. So we're going to show you a couple ways how to heat it up. Uh, but first, I want to show you the Bloody Mary base, okay? Yeah. Pretty much, no matter what spices you like, some like horseradish, some don't, here's the base. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to get three human ounces. Blood. Human blood, I'm sure. Yes, this is human blood, fresh. If this is going to be warm body themed, let's do it full out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, so let's talk about heat. So we can do uh, a hot pepper chili sauce if you want. Yeah. Black pepper, Worcestershire, or what we have here, I made some Serrano pepper infused vodka. So how do you infuse vodka? You just literally stuck it in the bottle or what? Literally what I did was I took a Serrano pepper, which is hotter than a jalapeno, but mm -hmm. not as hot as a habanero. I sliced, this is only about two thirds of the pepper because mm -hmm. I thought it was kind of hot. Mm -hmm. And it's only been in there about 24 hours. And already you see it has a green hue to it. Yeah. And the capsaicin, which is the hotness of peppers, the capsaicin is fully in that vodka. Huh. So if you want to put it in your eye, it'll make you cry. Yeah, I'm <laughs> or it'll, into that. it'll burn your palate. So I don't know about most people's heat. So we're gonna do, we need three shots of vodka. Okay. We're just gonna put one shot of this. Alright. And can you do that with anything? You just stick anything in some you vodka? You can totally that was totally green. So that was very green. you can do this with cherries, with apple. One of my favorite things for this kind of year right now, we're still in the winter, is to slice Fuji apples and put them in bourbon. And the last thing we need is one part lemon juice. So that's one shot of lemon juice. Uh, I think it's cool that they made basically like a zombie version of Romeo and Juliet. I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, it's, uh, it's cool. I mean, the forbidden love. Uh -huh. You know, father doesn't approve. It's yeah, cute. yeah, exactly. And there's even a balcony scene. I don't want to ruin. Spoiler alert! But yeah. they have some cool, cool stuff that they give an ode to R and J. That vodka has brought a nice heat to this. Just the one shot. Of Just the, the one shot. Pepper infused. Okay. Yeah. So I always say, if you're not sure about the heat of an ingredient, whether it's a dish or a drink, go easy because we can always kick the heat up with Worcestershire, with the pepper sauce. Oh yeah. But we can't take it back. Right. So this is already pretty spicy. Let's take this lemon like this, and I know it gets messy, we'll wipe it up, but you want to just kind of juice the side of a glass. Now we're just going to take the edge of the glass, and just kind of get it in there with a little chili yeah. powder. Looks like a charm. A little salt. Yeah, something, you know, cute. So now we have our, our basic Bloody Mary mix, and now it's time for us to make our own custom Bloody Mary, all right? All right. So I'll go ahead and I'll start. I'm here to tell you that pepper infused vodka gives you so much dimension with flavor that I probably will skip the hot sauce and just put for me, because this is what I know that I like though, I'm gonna add about a quarter, about a half teaspoon of Worcestershire. In. I'm not a fan of horseradish. Horseradish. I don't like that stuff. You don't have to use it. I'm gonna put a little bit more lemon juice in mine. I'm gonna put another half teaspoon. And then I'm gonna put a splash of horseradish. This is about uh, a quarter teaspoon because I like the heat that it brings. But you can add whatever you like. So what are you gonna put? I'm just doing a little lemon juice, added the Worcestershire and a little celery salt. And when we serve it, we like to put a celery stick. Hmm. Yeah, that'll kickstart your heart for sure. Will this kick heart your start more than love? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> so right? simple, I didn't think, I don't know, I guess I didn't know what Bloody Mary mix was. I mean, the fun of it too, I've seen people instead of bacon, you can use a Slim Jim, or I've seen hamburger, piece of hamburger meat. In the drink? A Slim Jim as the stirrer. Wow. So if you want to have a party, make your Bloody Mary mix, that's the base. And you can omit the pepper vodka if you don't know everyone likes heat. Right. But make your base, and then have people make their own additions. 
I like mine heated and spicy with a pungency of horseradish. Uh -huh. You don't care for that. So yeah. we still both had two drinks we like, and we only had to make one base. It was good. I definitely right. recommend it, you guys. Here, have a sip of mine. <laughs> we are dishing on movies.